America has made amazing progress in saving heart attack victims. The death rate dropping nearly 40 percent from just a decade ago. The New York Times finds it's largely because hospitals across the country have streamlined emergency treatment, allowing them to provide faster care for heart attack victims. Joining us now, Dr. Robert Lahida, the vice president and chairman of medicine at Newark Beth Israel Medical Center of Barnabas Health. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Patty, and for having me. So a lot of reasons you say one is blood tests, a diagnosis, more specific? Far more specific. First of all, patients know the symptoms of heart disease. So people don't hesitate to call emergency medical services. Emergency medical services sometimes have actual electrocardiograms, which they do in the, in the vehicle on the way to the hospital. Then we have door to balloon time, which means from the time they arrive at the door, they have 90 minutes to get to the catheterization lab, where we actually shoot dye into the coronary arteries to see where the blockages are, or if there are any blockages. We have new medications. We have more specific tests than when I was a, in training as an intern and resident mm -hmm. that tell us whether there's damage to the heart muscle. Yeah, so you also have these uh, stent interventions, catheterization, yes. putting the stents in the compromised vessels. We have all kinds of agents that thin the blood. Mm -hmm. We have agents now that prevent platelets from clumping, so it allows the stents, both medicated and non-medicated, to be in place and maintain their uh, duration uh, for the patient's life. And you also have a uh, heart, heart surgery now, uh, oh. much less of a Terrific. Heart surgery now is not the old cabbage, which is coronary artery bypass grafting. Remember, everybody that had the four-vessel, three-vessel repairs. That's gone down considerably, first mm -hmm. for because of medical treatment being more efficient, and secondly, because we have all sorts of, con all sorts of stents that we can put in mm -hmm. and avoid the surgery. And then we have aortic valve replacement, which is called TAVR, which is transthoracic uh, aortic valve replacement, where we can go in through a vein or an artery in your leg and go up into the heart with a catheter and actually place the valve where the, the artificial pig valve, where the damaged uh, normal valve or the damaged valve is and it, let it expand and we have an artificial valve that now takes over for the patient's own heart valve. Mm, uh, yeah, heart transplants uh, now in situations where nothing else works. Where nothing else works, where we have a condition called cardiomyopathy. It can be dilated, it can be all sorts of different reasons for that, a viral infection, uh, some sort of metabolic problem. When the heart is like a bag where it can't pump properly, uh, we can medically treat the patient for a period of time, but then we go on to actually do a heart transplant. And the heart transplants in the country have risen tremendously. How difficult is it to get a heart? It's difficult, but not terribly difficult, not like it used to be 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So these days, people are on waiting lists for hearts at specific medical centers. And when those hearts become available, usually a young person or middle-aged person gets the heart and uh, we, we can save a life. It's tremendous. Incredible. It's great to do a positive medical story like this. Uh, you mentioned before that people are more aware of the symptoms of heart attack. Could you briefly review they that are. for our viewers? Well, the typical fashion for, say, a, a man who's like, say, 50 years of age, feels like something like an elephant is standing on his chest. Uh, the old typical saying of the pain going down the left arm, that's still real, but people present differently with chest pain. Some people have pain in their jaw. Some people have pain in their abdomen with nausea. Some people get diaphoretic, which means sweaty. So they have these symptoms. They're highly educated now because of all the publicity and awareness we, we're putting forth with the American Heart Association. So people are aware of the fact that, gee, something really bad is wrong and I better call 911 and that's what you do even if you don't know whether it's a heart attack and you're suspicious and you don't right. feel right call 911 it's time better to be safe than essence. sorry that time is of the essence All right, Dr. Robert Lahita thank you so much thank you Patty